is now trapped in pauper's drop. All railcar travel is suspended until he is found. Remember, the enemy is alone. We are the family. Lamb's trying to box us in, kid. This is a goddamn city-wide lockdown. To keep the train moving, you need the security override key from the local governor, Grace Holloway. She kicked me out of my own hotel down here, the Sinclair Deluxe. Find her and get that key. You stole, stole Eleanor from, from me. me. Twisted, Twisted that baby, baby girl into a thing so, so sick it can't even, even die. And now, now you come, come swanning, swanning into my neighborhood, neighborhood looking, looking for me. me. Wrong, Wrong turn, turn Tim Daddy. When we hang you from a street light and you choking out your last, last. I, want I want you to you remember, remember my face. And I...
Family? That monster has taken another of our babies for his own. Tin Daddy is hollow like a jail cell that needs filling, and he will never let her go unless you hunt him down. I'll take you away from me. Rights, Doctor. You're free to kneel before whatever tribal fetish you favor in the comfort of your own home. But in rapture, liberty is our only law. A man's only duty is to himself. To imply otherwise, therefore, is criminal. Ask yourself, Andrew. What is your great chain of progress but a faith? The chain is a symbol for an irrational force guiding us towards ascension. No less mystic than the crucifixes you seize and burn. Yeah. 
Freddy, are you taking me home too? children family he would turn her from us just as he did to Eleanor show this thing what befalls the boogeyman when he steps into our God up a rhinoceros. Of course every poor soul in a drop's gonna start beating down your door. It's my job to think up a new key code to keep them out. Seems like every other day now. Nuts. I'll mull it over for a while at the fishbowl diner.
Old Papa's drops the worst off neighborhood in Rapture, shit. but it's a hell of an opportunity to raise up some... Well, sport, I guess Gracie's home, but that big lug just dropped half my damn hotel in your way. Now, to break through that mess, I expect you're gonna have to work out how he got so burly. Find yourself a genetic research camera, son. You can pick up any number of tricks from a splicer with one of those. Try the pawn shop downtown. Use that code you found on the keypad outside the clinic. Should get you up on the rooftops.
Elena, Mummy has to go away for a while. You shall be staying with Aunt Gracie. No one ever gets Mummy! Don't go! Elena, you are better than that. Do you remember what I told you? I am very special. That's right. And what else? I was born to change the world. Yes. And when Mummy returns home, the world will be very different indeed. She will make it ready for you. Another day, no clients. Atlas and Ryan start going at it hot and heavy, and all my business dries up. It used to be easy. Put the eye on some spliced up dame's wandering husband and rake in the dough. Now it's got so bad I had to put my camera in hawk at King Pawn. Makes a guy consider splicing up himself. If I had two dimes to rub together, that is. Toy, newy toy. Wait. 
That thing's a miracle in Technicolor, kid. Works like a movie camera. Start the film rolling before you open fire on a splicer, and then anything you hit him with tells you more about his DNA. Let's give it a dry run, shall we? That's it, son. Camera spits out a prize once in a while as you learn what makes a splicer tick. Now, find one of those big old brutes and take him out on film. Before long, you'll be able to brush aside that mess at the hotel. Using that camera is a bit like telling a joke. Each time you tell it the same way, it gets a little more stale, so you gotta change it up to keep it fresh. themselves over. Like dying is an honor. I'd almost feel sorry for them if they didn't have my daughter. I'm going to find Lamb and take Cindy back one way or another. Get out of my home! Are you taking me home too? Ooh. 
sleepy time is near. Remember, son, without using that research camera, we can't get to Gracie, and that means we're stuck here. Get one of those big apes on film, then work him over. I'm hearing rumors. Sounds like somebody named a Wales is starting up worship services down in Siren Alley, believe it or not. All faiths and creeds welcome, they says. They got big promises, salvation, immortality. A way out of here. I don't care how crazy it sounds. A way out of Rapture's music to my ears. Next Sunday morning, I'll be there. <sighs> I wish I could publish this stuff. It's newsman pay dirt. Sinclair says Ryan's making a move against Sophia Lamb, and they want to cut me in on the action. They're building a case that Lamb's a closet pinko, sort of an undercover thing. So I cozy up to this guy Wales, who works for Lamb, Making like I want to join up. Then, I find out whether he grew his beard for Jesus or Karl Marx. There's one of those big goons now. Start your camera rolling on him, and then let him have it.
Look at you, Sport. A regular junior shutterbug. And it appears you've picked up a new trick from that big galoot. Now get back to the Sinclair Deluxe and just bust through that mess blocking your way. Here, Father. It's yours. You are evolving fast, but your heart is getting weaker. I can keep you alive, but you must find me. Hypnotize your foes. Laugh as they fight each other. That's it. We have to close down the limbo. Bomb goes off in that fancy place uptown and everybody panics. Pulls their money out of the banks. A whole city tugging on the same dollar bill. So the banks fold. And maybe one in ten got their savings out. <laughs> Who's gonna come here me nightingaling about how broke they are? How am I gonna provide for little Eleanor? For Grace, the paradise of Andrew Ryan was most unkind. She spoke against him in song, and he had her blacklisted. It left her penniless. But in the family, she has found hope, a reason to draw breath. Ask yourself, Delta, do you deserve to take it from her?
The tent daddy is not a man. It is half dog and half devil, made by Andrew Ryan to condemn our children to a walking dead. Just rev up that drill of yours and slam right through that pile of junk blocking your way. <laughs> Gracie was on the top floor. Get on up there and persuade her to give you that override key. so fine right now, but I can't seem to quit this grin. Dr. Lamb came to tell me that Ryan's finally gonna lock her up. It's gonna gut the believers, and I should feel the same. But Sophia remembered that I, that I was barren, and she asked me to take care of her baby while she's gone. Baby Eleanor Lamb, gorgeous, clever little girl. I have a child now, and it's gonna put the whole world on the right. Snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how.
read our pamphlet. From the family's glory! shouldn't give me such a lift monster but i'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor i'll take my joy where i can i got you you can't stand up to me Outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Andrew Ryan, Andrew Ryan told me told that in Rapture, it didn't, it didn't matter, matter where you came, came from. from. Bunk! Times, Times got hard, hard and all our old bigotries bubbled right, right back, back up. up. But Dr. Dr. Lamb, Lamb showed, showed us that down, down under, under the skin, skin down, down under, under the money, money down, down under our, our very name, name. We, we are family. <laughs>
Just you watch. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. Grace is unarmed, for what it's worth. To hell with you, then. Come on. 
You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. I know that Dr. Lamb is no liar, but she's got to be wrong about you. Doesn't seem right now, letting you walk into that bushwhack waiting outside. I can't call off the family, but I can whisper a bit and improve your odds. These whirly birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. Just take that override key and slot it into the control box in the ticket booth there. That'll open the gates. <laughs> 